We're broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Suniapolis, Forsk, Minnesota, home of the Purple Mutant Eaters. You can hear their anthem being played down on the field right now. Of course, written by the artist formerly known as Pimp, Purple Brain, one of the all-time classics. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Hey, you idiot. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd, boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Roid Rage. Because if you can't answer your... And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. No doubt about it, that guy. He says, I'm taking you with me. Now hold on. Looks like the offense has recovered it. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. I'm a high-skill and it's first and ten. <laughs> And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick. It's a oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like
like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. They run it for a yard. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the deep pow with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And that's another turnover for the defense. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. <laughs> First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and five. And he runs it for four yards. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. Just a great run for a touchdown. And he takes a break from conquering and vaporizing other civilizations to score six points. He's such a driven player. You gotta give him credit. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. 
You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Third down and ten. Some steam, a gain of seven there. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Second and three. Someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> he might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm adding anything really tastes good. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Third down and eight. So one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann gallon.
third down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down and never going to happen. One speed, boom! And like the right man, it's pretty hard to hold on to a ball when your brain, heart, and central nervous system stop functioning. So I can't really blame this guy for the fumble. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio and he booted a high arcing rainbow and he's got a chance for a good return here oh with a bone crushing hit you can 86 this guy bricks i never learned how to count that high First and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and nine. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. Looks like a pass and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Rip. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Now here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't have. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. First down. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me. Nice run. No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. point with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the hey Bricks you were hit more than a few times like that in your career 140 times to be exact in one game to be more exact during one play to be more and more exact it wasn't even a game actually coach just laid into me on the sidelines and the defense falls for that trick all the time <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field literally Second down and ten. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Third down and nine.
And now comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And the defense just called the ginormous. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. He could go all the way. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. He refuses to go down. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Second down and seven. <laughs> quarterback for a sack. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And the defense gets another pick. Man. Oh, and he breaks free. Programmed to get down and funky. Get with it, brother. Get with it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. <laughs> and he picks up about six on the play. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Well, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches' plans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? to try to conserve time. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down 
fighting. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! The offense goes into their two minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. I am so confused. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, he really wants it. The kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. Second down and ten. That's a catch for a ten-yard gain. Third down and a sliver. Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got boom! And it's first and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. It's a six-yard gain. Third and... First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. 
You're an idiot. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. You go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a great pig. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. You know, his great grandfather was that movie, Alien 17. Where is Ripley when you need her to bust out the big guns? Man, he's just leaving one big skid mark out there. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. The offense is running low on blockers. They have only two left. They lose another. It's game over. And it's first and ten. That hit the... Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking Talking about. Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down in a mile. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Ah, uh, that's creepy, right? That's creepy. I'm not the only one who thinks that, right? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. It's good.
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his fleeting. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed. Hey, yeah, Frick, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Yeah, oh, for fuck's sake. I won't even get out of And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, -ho! crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. QB is dinking and dunking. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and nine. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot. I've had it. I'm running. Out. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Second down and a lot. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and, well, good luck. And like a monkey truck, they pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, man, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. At this rate, the cube man, what a hit that was. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, a great play by the defense. 
defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and forever. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm print. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Uh, don't worry, that's coming. And it's first and ten. Not, not one. Eight. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Ah, oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. Second down and five. Nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and gut. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Oh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, you all been out on me. Second down and two. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you're game for talent. I'm only hours. And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense here that are shrinking. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to. Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Oh, 
The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. That was like that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. Much like my wedding night. There was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? First down and forever. That's a big game run on that. And the Purple Mutant Eaters just made the competition today and deliver their home team fans a forfeit. Ah, Grim, some of the defensive Mutant Eater players are snapping on the left of the body parts. Why do you think they're called the Purple Mutant Eaters, you idiot? The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because hell, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard and shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every...